Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. I am your host, Bill Squire, and we had some technical problems this week. The sound sounds a little weird in some of the segments. Uh, I tried to fix it as best I could, but there's some funny stuff in there, so I didn't want to just scrap it. Uh, so I'm a, I apologize in advance for that. Also, the recording cut off before we did the plugs at the end, so I just want to make sure that I plug the Alan Cox Show. If you don't listen to the Alan Cox Show, that's my main job. Uh, I'm the co-host of the Alan Cox Show. You can listen to it weekdays 2 to 6.30 uh, uh, Eastern Time, that's on 100.7 WMMS, but you're like, what? I'm not from here. Well, you can listen on the iHeartRadio app. Also, we do a live stream. You just go to alancockshow.com. It's got all the different ways you can listen to it. There's also a podcast. There's so many options to listen to it, and it's a very fun, good show. Alan's the best. Mary Santora's on there. Pound Cake, we, we have a blast every day. So if you need, if you drive a lot or something like that, and you're looking for a podcast to just fill those hours, boom, that's the one for you. Uh, follow at Tommy LC on OnlyFans and AJ DeCosimo at AJ DeCosimo on Instagram and Twitter. And AJ's got a new article up this week on Weekly Humorous. Sorry, I'm a little bit sweaty and looking kind of gross because I just got done uh, with a walk with my dog. And uh, that's about all. Thank you guys so much for for checking out the podcast. Tell some friends about it. Let's uh, let's get these numbers up. We're, we're, I like this podcast. I'd like more people to listen to it. And that's that. Enjoy this episode. This is the Bill Squire Show. I totally forgot that I covered that. I forgot too. She loves when you sing so much. She's very. I give my heart away, and I know all the games you play. Just whoopsie too. Oh, but I need some time home from that emotion. Time to throw my heart back on the floor. You're killing this. <laughs> I feel like we got to go to, like, do a karaoke night. Yeah. With Because AJ can sing. And you will do the karaoke-ing, and I'll yeah. do the drinking. There drinking, go. yeah, I'll do the drinking, too. I actually, I get, I get so a little nervous. So we're just going to watch him sing. Yes. <laughs> I, I get a little nervous. I, if I get karaoke. drinky enough, mm-hmm. I will sing. Mm-hmm. I don't think I will. You don't think there's any level of drinky that you can get to? That will make you not like, in front of oh. strangers. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm, that I sounds mean, like a fun challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Get Tommy. Like, here's an interesting thing. Uh, no, you will have sex in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But I can't be singing in no, front I of can't, them because I can't sing. I we, can fuck. <laughs> we didn't go to the sex club. I know. Well, there's there's a lot of people that hit me up and they're like, "Ah, oh, we were waiting for sex club stories." And like, it didn't. It didn't yeah, work it just out. Didn't happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I one still day. think we'll go one of these days, but it just didn't happen that time. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. I'm your host, Bill Squire, with AJ DeCosimo. Hello. And Tommy LC. Hit her up on OnlyFans, yeah. at Tommy LC. She, T-O-M-M-I. She, she jacks off on there. I do jack off on there. She does jack off on there. Yeah. I've seen it. Someone asked me, she's <laughs> like, do you still subscribe to her? I'm like, yeah. And I was like. I feel weird about jerking off to her videos now. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Doesn't stop me, but I feel I, weird I about say, it. No, yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, Except know. everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. oh, they know. <laughs> they know. Way to go, yeah. Bill. No, it's okay. That's all right. Keep That's what it's there for. It to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tommy, I won't. Damn it. <laughs> Reverse me, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a, That's a me three. Yeah. I feel like it's me worse. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> Good Meal Jane Pizza is delicious. <laughs> they're going on the road. Are they? Yeah, so they're gonna they got like a, a pizza like a travel pizza oven that they're gonna take on the road, uh mm. like pull behind a trailer oh, or on cool. a trailer behind so <laughs> they're going to uh, across the country. Oh that's my gosh. Cool. Doing yeah. that and then they're gonna still have the kitchen going at uh 
south of the city in Ohio City. Uh-oh. But there's a, a chance that some of you out there that aren't Cleveland people will get to try Good Meal Jane. So they'll be posting their schedule of the tour on their Instagram at Good Meal Jane. But if you live in Cleveland and you want to try one of their pizzas, what number do you call, AJ? one 888 4 pizza 2 That's right. one 888 4 pizza 2 And at Good Meal Jane on Instagram and it's incredible pizza. You got to try it. There we go. That was yeah. pretty yeah. good. That was great. Pretty, that was like a real professional mm-hmm. this week. Yeah. We didn't you really uh, play with it. Once in a while. Yeah. We didn't play with it that much. We didn't say like, hey, if you eat this pizza, your dad will come back or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. If you eat this pizza, <laughs> you'll, uh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. So <laughs> I was going to try to do something. But <laughs> so so AJ, really? yeah. um, you got a new job. I got a new job. I got hired today on the spot. On the spot. What? On the spot. Yeah. That's a interesting. Yeah. Like the, I always think that's weird. Like when. There's only certain types of jobs where they hire you on the spot. Yeah. Because you went for an interview at iHeart a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I did. Did you get hired on the spot? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> In fact. Did you feel rejected on the spot? Y- yeah. Really? What? 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 No, I, I felt like. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't talk about that on the air. No, I feel like what they did is they hired somebody that was already doing that job, right, yeah. just in a different market. Mm. So they're like, "Well, we'll just bring that person from a different market uh, and yeah. do it here, since mm. they already had the knowledge of how to do it." Right. But I think they interviewed you as a courtesy to me, so uh, I appreciate okay. that. Oh, there you go. And there's there other you. situations coming up that I'll put you in touch for too. Oh, okay. So, mm. Mm. Uh, you might have to quit this new job though. <laughs> If you want to, I don't know. So tell everybody what your new job is. Um, do you want me to explain it to you like you're a seven year old, or do you just want me to say it? You know what? Let's do it like we're seven years old. Okay, so <laughs> we're all pet owners. Yeah, yeah. Right? we all we all have pets. I have a dog. You have a dog. Do you a have? Lovely you have two, two dogs. dogs, two cats. Two dogs, two cats. You have four pets. Oh no, I shit! Have a... I have three dogs. I'm sorry, three dogs, two cats. You have Some five of us are more responsible. This one's yeah. new. Yeah. This one's new. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, got another dude. She's like a part time. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got you got you have five time. pets. I have a cat that we all love it. What's some... your cat's name? Franny. That's Franny. cute. We yeah. used to have when my kids were little. We had a cat named Franny. Oh my god! Did you steal our fucking cat? I took your cat. No, I can't wait to be long. Yeah. That cat, that cat yeah. got uh, went into the woods and never came back and was. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. I never found it though. That is similar to what I do. You lose cats? No, <laughs> but we all lose pets. Yeah, like they run away and then you never see them yeah. again, or they get taken to no. like a farm or no. something. No, I mean uh, like your dog gets old mm-hmm. and it gets sick. Yeah. They have to take it to the vet. Uh huh. And then the vet who goes, hey, there's not really much we can do. We have to. All right, this is actually conjuring up memory. This is way worse than the way you told us <laughs> before. Because like, yeah. I'm just thinking of, like, I put down two dogs in the past five years because mm. they got old. And, right. it, like, one was with, like, in 2020, like, oh. right when the pandemic mm. was starting, we had to put down our dog, Charlie. Oh. And that was, he was a sweetie. No. Well, old jerk. Well, when you had to put it down, the 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 the, the vet, which is an, an animal doctor, mm-hmm. oh, okay, and j- gives it a shot and puts a bunch of shit in it that'll kill it. Vaccines, yeah, <laughs> vaccines, <laughs> vaccinates the dog. <laughs> um, and then after after the doctor, the the vet puts down your your pet. Like, where does it go? You ever thought of that? The, all dogs go to heaven. Yeah. Right. You know that. No, but I mean, I'm talking about the actual fucking carcass. Okay, so we're still not, <laughs> not talking like seven-year-olds oh, anymore. Oh, shit. I no, forgot yeah, that yeah. I was supposed yeah. to do like seven-year-old. <laughs> no, but like, what? where does that go? Where does the, the body go? The it's, sewer. No, it doesn't go to the sewer. That's probably good. It goes <laughs> in a big, hot furnace. Oh. And then <laughs> <laughs> someone's Why would pick we up burn my dog? Because... You're not what is cremation, my, right? What would my dog do wrong that you have to set it on fire? No, you don't set it on fire. It's so hot that it just, in, just ashes. <laughs> oh, I, I like that when you're d- talking about this very uncomfortable thing about uh, incinerating dogs. Whoopsie, staring right at <laughs> I know, you. She's just like, hey, Aww. what do you do? I want to go to work. Look at her. With you? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I pick up the dogs after the vets put them down, and I take them to get burned up. That's my new job. That's my new day job. <laughs> and it pays good? Yeah. Yeah, very well. Well, I hope you can sleep at night. <laughs> I can. I'll be able to sleep at night. Do you now, get like little body bags for them? Yes. 
Yeah. Do they, are, do they specify like dog, cat? Yeah. They say what animal yeah. it is? Really? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you could tell by the size. Like a small, like a chihuahua and a cat yeah. box, you could use the same mm-hmm. box. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're they're just by size. It's not yeah. labeled. Yeah, it's not labeled. Like this is a Labrador retriever <laughs> yeah. box. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an interesting this is a, yeah, job. That's... Yeah. And you're sure you'll be able to do this? I, I'll be able to do it, yeah. All right. Because you did have a job picking up dead bodies for it's, a day. That's way different, and that's and then and that's way different. Why? Because th- these are human beings that died under horrible circumstances. Always? Sometimes, okay. No, sometimes. not always. Um, S- same with dogs, though. What if they? Died yeah, under but it is different. Like it's it's not the loss of human life is different than the loss of animal life. I mean, I don't know. I I have a hard time when pets die, but like. What's a sh- situation where I would be uncomfortable with, like, a human? What would be a scenario? Yeah. When you have to pick up the remains of an 11-year-old who got arred and murdered? That'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll pick up the dead dogs. That's yeah. still very sad. Yeah. But, yeah, the... Yeah. Uh, Way different. The, the arred 11-year-old. Yeah. Uh, oof. Yeah. The guy told Wait, me... Wait, are the dogs did, that you're picking up? Did no. they get arred and murdered? <laughs> no, they did not get arred and murdered. Did they no. get murdered and arred? I don't know. Oh. That's even worse. Oh, my goodness. This is the darkest episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is even going down a, 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 a road where I'm like, ooh, I don't think there's a way back. Are you going to quit mm-hmm. this job now? Are Am you I gonna over quit? it? No. Or like, no. no. Or get fired? I was actually thinking about whether or not to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think it's interesting. Yeah. I think. And if it pays better and... This How do I this broach this? Also... Allow you to have nights and weekends. Yes, so I could Are see you, you. I could see you at hilarities more. You can see me at hilarities, but you yeah. can start working hilarities. I can start working hilarities, and yeah. you'll have so many fun stories. About, like, hey, yeah. I know you. I picked up your dead dog two days ago. I picked up your. I picked up your labradoodle. <laughs> Here's some tickets. <laughs> That's a great way to network. Yeah, that's hey, right. it looks like you could use a laugh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, come on, like if we look at this objectively, mm-hmm. I know that you just lost your dog, but this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you knew your dog was going to die eventually. They're just little tragedies. You know, losing yeah. losing a, 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 a pet is a lot like losing a member of the family. Um, sometimes you just don't see him when you're backing out of the driveway. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Who's ready for Tom memes? I'm ready for Tom memes. Are you? What, what did I say in the first recording that we had to scrap that made me laugh so hard? I don't remember. It was really funny, though. Maybe I'll cut that part out. Wait. Slide oh, mm, what was it? Shit. Did you say something about... Mm. Maybe it was... I don't know. Well, well yeah. oh, Don't worry about it. <laughs> we we had to kind of redo this one because I did a dumb dumb. Uh, Bill but made it. Again. A, 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 I did. I, sometimes I do... This is why I need like a... I don't know. A brain. A brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's time for Tom memes. Last week we threw him up on the thing. That didn't matter because it's just too far away from the camera to see. So I'll do like I did. I edited them into the video, and that's much better. Okay. All right, but AJ and I will look at this. You're gonna come in. Uh, yep, I can see it. All right, I'm reading it. Okay, it says, "When you go down on Medusa and find out she doesn't shave." <laughs> And it's a snake, it's a snake biting, biting his face. face. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was the 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 here that slayed Medusa? What was the name of him? Perseus. Oh. Perseus. That was yeah. it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Greek mythology. If you didn't notice, they? yeah, you definitely yeah. knew who that guy was. That, yeah, Perseus. That's like the, probably one of the most famous characters. Like, <laughs> Perseus that one guy that did that one thing. Percy. Yeah. Oh, uh, Perseus. Would you let Medusa's snakes suck your dick? No. Like her snake here? No. Imagine that. Wait, but they're sucking it. They're not biting it. I, I, yeah, I don't know if I want snakes to suck my dick. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That guy looks... But they probably have a pretty Imagine, good throat game. Though. I was going to say, the they're gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've seen a, a snake swallow a, a baby elephant. Another snake? Yeah. Oh, baby elephant? No. What, what do you think nature's know. like, Tommy? I, not that. <laughs> Would you not pick up humans? Ones. You think humans are the only species that kill indiscriminately? I've seen lions... Do some horrible things. When do you, do you see what? lions? No, like, like, have you ever seen like, like, nature, animal, nature is yeah. violent, yeah. and it's not. Look at the snake. That guy didn't do anything to the snake. You, you don't know. know that. Well, I would. Dude, you looks like he's not doing anything. Medusa's pussy without her consent, and then bam, yeah. oh, snake. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. Wait. What, what do I got to do? Uh, just hit the down arrow, I believe. 
Yeah. Okay. I. I can't really explain it, but it's Ghost and then Ghostbusters. <laughs> I haven't seen, yeah, okay. I haven't seen the full thing. You haven't You've seen never Ghostbusters? Seen Ghostbusters? Not all of it, no. Oh, we <laughs> what? Have, we have to have like movie night. Yeah, now. let's There's watch Ghostbusters. There's a few old ones that I haven't, right. but I know so, the premise. But enough. yeah, Patrick Swayze and Ghost with Dan Aykroyd in the background with the <laughs> dressed like the Ghostbuster <laughs> with the proton. That's funny. What is that thing called? I forget. Proton pack. Don't something? cross the beams though. Yeah. Uh, and getting ready to get that Patrick Swayze ghost, ghost out of there. Very funny. <laughs> Great meme. I love that. That is funny. Pretty Next good. up. Okay. Wait, did I get it? Okay. The first one is from Cinderella. My perspective so of stepmoms when I was a kid. And then the bottom. Well, who's then the, the first one? Oh, it's the stepmom from Cinderella. Right. Yes. And then in the bottom, I don't know her. There's Do you a, know her? There's a really hot stepmom. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a porn star that that's who they put in a stepmom porn now. Yes. It's It'd be like... Your dad's away on business. <laughs> Do you know I her need name? A cock to suck. Uh, I don't know her. name. I don't know. Who. She looks familiar though. Yeah, I've seen her. I've definitely seen her. She's um, cute. Yeah. yeah, I've definitely seen her get um, railed, railed, railed mm-hmm. by men, mm-hmm. and probably a few <laughs> women as well. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but looking at the stepmom from Cinderella, Cinderella, she could get it. That's what you I was think? talking about. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was what I was talking about. I was I talking mean, about so you, you clicked on those tune ads. Yeah, I, like that. <laughs> I feel like she wouldn't suck dick though. She looks too mm, snooty. I think she'd dick. only do it if she really loved you. You think she can love? She doesn't look like she can love. I think she's got a lot of walls, but I think <laughs> yeah, she's gonna break them down. But she's also one where she, the reason she acts the way she does is because she was hurt very badly by Cinderella's dad dying. What? That, that's the, right? No, the stepmom? Yeah. She was always just cold and cruel. Yeah. Right, but Cinderella's dad's not in the story, right? Yes, he is. It's the, the mom that's not anymore. Oh, wait, no. The, neither one of them are. Yeah, yeah like, neither yeah. one. Okay, neither yeah. One, yeah, so like, there's just, it was, there was a lot more death back in Cinderella's imaginary time. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, there's a guy that would pick up the, the human dead bodies in a pumpkin when you see the Jewish hippie that you literally crucified walking around talking to people, and it's that <laughs> cute little uncomfortable yeah. black guy with them. What yeah. do you call, a Spartan what do you call helmet. Spartan helmet, yeah. That's, oh, that's a funny one. I like that one. Good job. He's a little Roman centurion. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I've seen this, this one. This one's <laughs> Joe, Joe Rogan. <laughs> and this one you have to do the accent. Joe Rogan looks like the henchman in an Arkham game who yells, It's the bat! Now well, you do it. It's the bat in a Boston accent. I should have right. said that. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Brooklyn. Shit. You oh, yeah, fucking idiot. I was thinking, but I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's the bat. Hey, it's the bat. <laughs> it's the bat. It's the bat. <laughs> it's the bat. <laughs> it's the bat. <laughs> you look just like it. <laughs> it's ooh, the ooh, bat. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm Joe Rogan. Let's talk about jujitsu <laughs> for nine hours. Do it in Joe Rogan's voice. I don't. Uh, you I'm Joe. It. I'm Joe Rogan. Let's talk about it. It's 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 the bat. It's it's the bat. <laughs> it's the bat. You know, dude, I, it's, just, it's the bat. Psychedelics are crazy, bro. They're crazy, it's the bat. bro. <laughs> now you do it. You gotta do it. I can't even mouth. Hold on. No, I can't. Let me show. You. It's the bat. I'm gonna do. Tommy my this week is the one that's eating on mic. Mm-hmm. She's eating Skittles. I'm to, so sorry. You need. To, that's what for all you that have. Sent gross messages. That's what that mouth do. <laughs> it's eat Skittles. You should do an OnlyFans yeah. where you're doing that, like making that face and just going, it's the bit. And it's then the just you're, you're jacking Wait, off. Did, g- give me a Boston accent. Or not Boston, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Why do you I'm keep so- saying that? I don't know. Like a fool. Because <laughs> she loves <laughs> Departed so much. <laughs> it's the bat. It's the bat. Is it a good yeah, place? Hers is way better than <laughs> both of us. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. I like pizza. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like Raphael. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I watched. Uh, he looks like a Ninja Turtle. He does in that look picture. Like a Ninja t- Turtle. Yeah. All right. Like next turd. one. Okay. It's the bat. I'm gonna be doing that. Okay. This one. I don't know what the picture's from. That's Duke Nukem. That's oh, it Duke does Nukem. literally yeah. say Duke Nukem under there. Yes. It says we should replace COVID nineteen with boobs. I agree. Yeah, I mean, so boobs are okay. And then no, what? just okay. I'm, you're all right. You're a butt guy. What? Are I, you a butt I like guy? butts. I was yeah. say, okay. Boobs are Tommy, fine. Tommy, cover your boobs so he, they don't hear this. <laughs> so they don't hear this. <laughs> hey, boobs are. I mean, fine, but I'm just kind of like, eh. Like, don't, don't worry. We love you, boobs. 
We love you, boobs. You can't, you yeah. don't let the bad man. Make I you take feel it back. Bad. I'm I'm I, I'm anything anyone that's gonna have sex with me in the moment. That's my. Uh, that's what you. That's that's what, that's what I'm what into. Like she's got boobs. I'm what like, what yeah, she? Boobs. What if she makes? Uh, she she writes. Posters flyers, for like like flyers. <laughs> yeah, wrote, writes <laughs> like flyers for living. crazy dip shit. Mm-hmm. I gave my number to. Um, COVID nineteen. Now you're getting married to. I can't boobs. believe that. Yeah, yeah, um. we're <laughs> yes. Yeah, replace COVID nineteen with boobs. Yeah. Make it happen, Joe Biden. We're waiting for Let's you. Do it. Yeah. On it. All right. Is that Next it? One. Is that it? I can't remember. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Another one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go boobs. Yeah. What the fuck are boobs? I'm a visual learner, by the way. Oh, there and we go. Sonic. I like that. With nice. a guitar. Winking. I like chill. I like chili dogs. It's so whenever Sonic. See, yeah, whenever I see Sonic, I'm like, what a good food choice for him to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's basically Sonic trying to grope boobs. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he can get away with it. He's a cartoon. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you ever see the Sonic movie that came out? Like, No, but I heard it was did great. Did it come out? It, yeah. It was great? It was actually I pretty good. I heard it was really good. I yeah. have it if anybody wants to. We, we, got, we can have movie nights. Yes. Like, yeah. We can do Sonic. We can do Ghostbusters. Ghost I heard it was fantastic. Herbs. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Jim Carrey was good at uh, Doctor. What's his name? Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, Doctor Robotnik. Yeah. All right, is that the last one? I think. Yep. That okay. was it. There we go. That is that Ta-da. section, and uh, we're gonna take a little break, and then come back and do jokes. Some jokes. Jokes on jokes. And uh, again, I just want to apologize to the boobs that were listening. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, that his boobs are great. Opinion doesn't and matter. Yeah. IJ and and butts. We we care God, about he's butts a too. Fucking boob hater. But I'm not a boob hater. It sounds like you're. You guys are. You, you said twisting. you didn't care about boobs. I, I'm I'm kind of like all right, whatever. You that, all body parts mattered, boobs. <laughs> yeah, you uh, did. <laughs> I like boobs. Like I'm not like. Oh I'd, yeah. I'd if vote you like for boobs, them. Grab her tits right now. I'm not gonna grab Tell her t- on the on the thing. They say Tell you them. love them. I love your boobs. <laughs> no, you didn't. They didn't even. Tell the boobs no one I believed love that. You. I love you. <laughs> you're you're fine, boobs. You're great. I don't believe you. I'm not gonna fucking grope my co-host <laughs> on camera. You passed that test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are still employed. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right. AJ, it's your turn to go first. All right. A wall made of ice collapsed at the Titanic Museum this week out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Investigators are working around the clock to figure out why it collapsed and why there's a Titanic Museum in Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really place I know, like of all the places. Yeah, like, why not New York? Why not? Where did it leave from? London, right? Did it it's leave so from where? I thought it was Ireland or France or oh, something, something like that. that. Yeah, but it wasn't. It definitely wasn't Knoxville, Tennessee. Know, yeah. That's a very strange <laughs> place for it. Someone blew someone to get that there. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the World's Fair that was there in like the was it sixties or seventies? Nineteen the nineteen sixties. My uh, husband yeah. used to work for like a distribution center that um, would ship stuff to like a pirates museum, Titanic museum, and that was like in Pittsburgh or something. So oh, I think weird. they have them all over. Oh, People a love the Titanic, museum? and why is that? Because it's such like a tragic story. It shouldn't have it. happened. Yeah, it was, yeah, like such an avoidable tragedy. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, they just weren't paying like, attention. Wait till there's the COVID museum. Where they're right. like, man, they had the medicine and people weren't taking it. Like, like with the, like, the masks would have solved the entire thing. And right. people were like, no. How no. <laughs> would they do that? Do you realize like in the early, like people were lining up for vaccines? Yeah. Like, what the fuck well, happened? People, yeah. Are you talking about back in the day or like a nah. few months ago? Yeah, a few months ago, people were lining up for vaccines. Mm-hmm. And then there's the other people that are like, I don't trust it because they're getting misinformation and they completely politicized it for ratings on Fox News. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone who got a vaccine wanted it. Yeah. It's ridiculous to be like, it, it, <clears throat> and to, to see the actual results right now where 99.9% of people are dying are unvaccinated. What else do you have to know? Right. Like, what other thing do you need to know? Yeah. Like, people aren't dying from the vaccine. They're dying from COVID. They're getting sick, and it's getting... It gets way worse if you don't have the vaccine. Mm -hmm. But they're just stubborn people that have... They don't trust certain... They just want to be contrarians. I don't think they... they're, they're, They're contrarians, but then there's a lot of people that 
genuinely are just stupid. They just mm-hmm. buy into whatever they're told by Tucker Carlson yeah. or someone like that. Who is Tucker Carlson? Probably vaccinated. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I would I would venture to guess that yeah. he is vaccinated. Donald Trump vaccinated. Most Republicans are probably vaccinated. Mm-hmm. It, it, like the elected officials uh-huh. or formerly elected officials at most, <laughs> but people don't want to buy into that. Yeah, what are you going to do? All right, I'll do a COVID joke now. Okay. Uh, the Delta variant of COVID first discovered, uh, the Delta Plus variant of COVID first discovered in South Korea isn't a streaming service, although they are handing out free trials at an alarming rate. Oh <laughs> <laughs> are these variants scaring you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's pumping the numbers back up. And, like, you already see things just going back to where they, the numbers going back up. And yeah. in, in a way, like, like I don't think I'm going to die from it, but it, right. it's no. like, I might get sick from it, which is annoying. Right. I don't like to get sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just, it's so preventable. That's, that's, that's what is scary, yeah. is how many people are just not doing it because they think it's this political thing to get vaccinated. We're in an era. Like, this is going to be over for a long time. No, I know. Yeah. This might go on for a decade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is not going away anytime soon. And I remember, like, when I first started talking about, like, this with people last year, when this first started happening, they were just like, how long do you think this is going to be? I'm like, this might go on for a year or two. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes on for way longer. Yeah. Right. And they thought I was crazy. I'm just like, no, nobody's going to fucking do what they're, they should do. Oh, like at first, do you remember? Like at first, it was all the old people. Like it was all the old people were like, kind of like this is fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then as it went along, it became dying. younger. Right. It became <laughs> younger people that just didn't care anymore. Yeah. Well, the younger people were like, well, it doesn't kill me. Right. right. So they just go, it's not gonna kill me, and this inability to think of other people is what's so astounding to me. Yeah. Where people are like. I'm only thinking of myself where if I get COVID and I'm not vaccinated, the chance of me dying is pretty low. Not thinking about how it could spread to somebody that is immunodeficient and could right. get real sick, have long-term COVID, long-haul COVID as they call it, or it could kill them. And it's and it's so preventable, like you were saying. Yeah. There's simple things you can do to make it go away and make it, you know, kind of stop the spread. And people are just like, no, I don't want to be inconvenienced. It's like the minimal, uh, yeah, yeah, like the minimal inconvenience. Get a shot. Yeah. Get, get two shots. That's it. Right. Two shots. <laughs> right, or just get one. Get, get the Johnson & Johnson in. That, yeah. That'll help a lot. All right. Next joke. I don't want to get too preachy. But if you're not vaccinated and you're listening to this, please do get vaccinated. Oh, but I, so let me tell you this. So I, was it last week's joke or two weeks ago? Uh, I don't know, where was it? I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, where? Oh, yeah, the Alabama doctor. So I had the joke about the Alabama doctor that people are getting, like, they're in Alabama, they weren't vaccinated, they're on their deathbed, she's about to intubate right. them, mm-hmm. and the last thing they do is beg her for the vaccine, and she says, it's too late. her last words to them are, it's, it's too late. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then my joke was, and I've never wanted to be a doctor more. <laughs> yeah, that's, and then I've been doing that on stage. Yeah. Is it killing? It's killing. That's awesome. Like that. it's good. Okay, maybe it's not killing, but I'm enjoying <laughs> telling it because then I do an act up where I'm like, oh, I'm like, it's too late. Bam. It's too late. Bam. It's too late. Bam. Just sticking two down there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Because because of the like dying of a preventable death, like dying of a preventable death is. It's hard to feel bad. At yeah, this point. like like if this you is January before people had a chance to get right. vaccinated, that's yeah. different. But the vaccine, you can walk into a Walgreens and get it today. Yeah, and you'll be for yeah for for free. Mm-hmm. And people don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to get in there and do it, and you're not doing it. All right, mm-hmm. next joke. Tennessee police arrested a 40 year old nursing student who allegedly beat up her elderly mother with Alzheimer's. When police asked her why she did that, she said she was trying to get information out of her as to why the Titanic Museum is in their state. <laughs> <laughs> why is it in their state? <laughs> we'll have to do a deep dive on this. 
<laughs> and, it's, and Titanic. <laughs> and why Titanic's museum is in it's ridiculous. Tennessee. Yeah, that's bizarre. There's gotta be some sort of explanation on it. <laughs> right. um, it's been reported that disgraced singer R. Kelly is now completely broke and overweight in jail. Guess he shouldn't have pissed away all that money. Oh, hey, you're you're in. You're in. You're Me? Yeah. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> You're not going to get into that? No, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, really, so you I definitely... Like yeah, that was definitely... Uh, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Why don't you want to talk about that? I've never been pissed on. Okay. No. Do you want to be pissed on? No. Have you pissed on somebody? Have you ever been sexually? pissed on by boobs? <laughs> Is that just milk? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm not getting into what, what I do. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I don't feel... I, I've never been pissed on, but I have, like... Maybe a little bit. I think I put my hand under a girl's vagina while she was peeing once in oh, the yeah. shower. Uh, Why? Just to, just to do it? Yeah. Just, 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 just pee in my hand a little bit. Just pee in my hand a little bit. Huh. No, no, I've no. never peed on or been peed on. Peed on. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Nice. We all learned something. <laughs> well, that is interesting. Key info on each other. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm not really into the pee thing. Yeah. I feel like like that was enough for me, like the pee in the shower. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Right, not, that, not that sexy. But I have some lube milk out of a boob. Yeah? Yeah. What did it taste like? It was pretty good. Really? Yeah. I heard it's sweet. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Uh, yeah. It tastes like mother's love. <laughs> <laughs> it was after the sex. Okay. So I feel like it wasn't like a sexual thing. Yeah. But she was like, she, she was, she had... I think maybe an eight or nine month old, and uh -huh. she was like at the end of like the nursing. Phase. Bill's Bill's always been close to his mom. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and uh, she's like, "Hey, I still have boo milk." And I was like, "Really?" And she's like, "Do you want to take a taste?" And I was like, "I'll take a tug. Oh, I'll take a tug. <laughs> you it? Yeah, you kind of have to like bite it a little bit. Bite and suck, but it comes back to you naturally. It's like riding a bike. Was a, was, was a lot coming out. I mean, I got a good squirt. Like yeah, I got a good, good taste. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. like, okay. Would you dunk cookies in them? Absolutely. Yes? Okay. But nothing too sweet. Like, I don't think that's an Oreo. No, I feel like it's Oreo. a Lorna Dune type of dunk. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> you don't want anything that's too sweet because the milk's already sweet. Right. Why yeah. is it sweet? I just, I think that may have to do with her diet. Oh, okay. So, huh. I don't know if it's all sweet, but hmm. hers is sweet. I hear it's sweet. It's pretty good. It's a common thing I hear about it. That's why kids like it so much. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Your turn, right? Yep. America's Got Talent contestant exits the show due to her cancer battle, and I think that that's terrible that the judges would vote her off for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's just terrible. That is terrible. Shame on you, Simon Cowell. Uh, is I, he on there? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I learned I, that that show's still on Yeah. from that joke. I'm, like, happy because there's comedians that I know that have gotten, like, famous from that show. So oh, like, really? Like, I appreciate it for that. <clears throat> but it's not a show that I've ever watched. Did you audition for um, Last Comic Standing? No, I never auditioned for that. I did actually audition for America's Got Talent once. Oh, though, yeah. And I did not get it. Mm. But it's all right. This is not, it's not the show for my kind of comedy. Yeah. yeah. Like, even when I'm clean, it's too dark or too... It's not broad enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah. That wasn't funny. I'm, I'm good. I've decided if, if Last Comic Standing ever comes back, I'm going to... Try it. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah, yeah. I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's go. It it was one of those things where like I was so new when that show was starting, and I knew like enough about it that I knew those were not comics that were doing it for a year or two. Right. They were like, you know, like Robbie May was doing it for ten years when he got mm -hmm. on that show. Mm -hmm. The only person that was really pretty new was Dat Fan, and he won it, but like none of the, like he never built a career off it the way like all the other comics yeah. were able to. Yeah. So, uh, all right, next joke. Ratings for the Tokyo Olympics are at an all-time low. NBA, NBA, NBC executives say it's due to a myriad of reasons, first and foremost being that Olympic sports are boring as fuck. <laughs> that was facts. 
Remember how I said I wrote five jokes? Yeah. That was verbatim the joke that I wrote. <laughs> verbatim. Oh, yeah. yeah, swear yeah. to God. I swear to God, that was pretty much the joke. Pretty much the joke. The yeah. exact joke. Because, like, I'm just like, I forgot, I, like, didn't save it. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, rack my brain. And then when you said that, I'm like, that's the joke. <laughs> that's that's what it was, yeah. We're on the same page. Well, yeah. there you go. There, there you go. go. Um, have you watched any of the Olympics either? No. I know you have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was watching them. I watched some of the highlights and I go, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. But it's also like everything's on at such a weird time that I'm, like the I've rings. caught yeah. I've caught some stuff live, like some basketball stuff. But like tonight's game is on at twelve fifteen a.m. So I'll probably not. I don't know. I actually watch that one because I, I feel like I can. They go pretty fast with only ten minute quarters, right. but uh, we'll see. I um I was watching the men's rings. Oh yeah, do how, how do they, women do the rings? Do women do rings? No, women don't do the rings. Yeah. So, men do the parallel bars and the rings. Women do the uneven bars. Yeah, I don't think men do the uneven bars. Yeah, and then I think women do like the floor routine. I think the men do too. But there's a few different events that are just what men's and men's and, and, yeah. and specific to women. Hmm. I think. Uh, the what's it, the pommel horse? Yeah, I think that's just a men's thing. But like women do like the vault. I don't, I don't know exactly all this stuff, but there's there's different events. Just because mm-hmm. it takes like like the rings is an enormous amount of strength. It's insane. Yeah, the I'm one's like, hanging and yeah. it's just the it's, okay. yeah. And then they put their dicks through it. Yeah, <laughs> and then it cuts off the blood and their dicks get so yeah. big. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Oh no! I was watching the whole Olympics. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, dude, the the rings are amazing. I yeah. was like watching that. I'm like, oh my god, I can. I, can I couldn't even that. hold those like hold myself. Up. <laughs> I know, like the one and the dude's like holding himself like parallel, and yeah. his hands are open. Yeah. Because like if your wrists are on it, that's a penalty. So he like is holding himself up in these rings like this. From his, that's what I'm saying. On his palms, yeah. yeah. It's fucking crazy. It takes a ton of strength. Mm-hmm. All right, it's your turn for a joke. All right, this is my last joke. Okay. Because you said my other one. Yeah, no. This one's it was, so, it was my joke, but this one's <laughs> really dumb. Uh, a new study suggests that giraffes are much more intelligent than we originally thought and are just as socially complex as elephants. Researchers also say that on the whole, they're pretty fucking stupid still because they're giraffes. <laughs> uh, I, I read that article. Oh, did you? I didn't write a joke about it, but oh. I read that article. And uh, that's, uh, I mean... But elephants are pretty smart. Yeah, they like, paint. <clears throat> they know how to do some shit, and they like know how to like, like they're they're pretty aware of the threat that humans are to them. Oh yeah, things like that. And mm-hmm. I think giraffes, you know, they have a, a similar level, I guess. And that's. Uh-huh. Uh, have There's you ever been like close up to a, a giraffe? A what? Yes, feeding like, like at the zoo. Yeah. yeah, it's wild. They're so fucking big. I'm a fan of the zoo. I'm not crazy. I get sad. Why do you get sad? Because you, you know that AJ's going to have to go pick some yeah. of them up. <laughs> yeah, pick some of them up. <laughs> what, do they have a special car for you to drive? Yeah, the, the there's, there's, a, there's a giant <laughs> giraffe uh, incinerator. <laughs> or do they make you uh, chop it up? Yeah, they make us chop it up. We burn the giraffe piece by piece by piece. Mm. No. They would divide it up into like six separate sections. And at that mm. point, it's just barbecue. Yeah, that's right. I mm. wonder what it tastes like. Do people eat it? You yeah. don't get to know you're a vegan. A vegan? A vegan. You're a vegan. You're a vegan. You don't like that. Well, I'll try it and I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to the zoo uh, when this day comes out on Friday. Uh, I'm going to go to Twilight at the zoo, oh. which is drinking and walking around and listening yeah. to cover bands. Is this Cleveland Zoo? Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. Brew at the zoo also at Cleveland or is that Akron? That's... I think Brew at the zoo. Brew at the zoo. I think they do it at both. Oh, maybe, okay. but maybe it is Akron though. But it's the same oh, okay. concept, basically, just getting drunk at the zoo, yeah. which is fun. Yeah. Those animals like are probably drunk. so fucking annoyed. <laughs> like, the sober people at the party, that's yeah. the fucking animals. They're like, right, they're like, yeah, they're like, yeah, they're like, god damn it. <laughs> These cover bands are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, I remember the zoo, I'm just watching animals drink water. Is that why you it's don't just like what it? It's just what it is. I'm just like, this yeah, is... but they're cute and big. And... Yeah. I think the magic of going to the zoo is going with a small child. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me rephrase that. The magic of going <laughs> to the zoo is finding a small child <laughs> 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 and just, just bringing it home. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Uh, no, this, I, I like the zoo. Again, like I like going, like thinking my kids when they were little and uh, my niece and, and seeing them react to the animals, especially like on a day when an animal's active. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen that, is really like yeah. I, I went one day in the rhinoceros is we're, <laughs> we're just like going crazy, like not in a bad, like they're having fun and playing and, mm -hmm. and it was fun to watch that because usually they're like you said just drinking water yeah. doing nothing but this day they were like galloping around and it was so cool we watched mm -hmm. them for like 45 minutes that's because cool. they were just having fun and running around and being playful so when you catch that kind of thing at the zoo it's really enjoyable but there's a lot of times when they're just laying around doing nothing yeah, i'm just like all right yeah. like i could go on youtube this lion just right. mauling but even another animal. But when you go with a small child and they're like, they have these ideas of these animals and they see how big they are and like how, yeah. like like, seeing them light up is really kind of sweet. Oh. You're like, <laughs> yeah, how nice. like yeah, he's like, like he's like, all I'm trying to do is get the dead bodies. In the truck. <laughs> yeah, that's like all I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do is burn up some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my joke. New York City, uh, New York City Mayor Bill the Pill De Blasio. That's not really <laughs> 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 the hell, yeah. uh, De Blasio is requiring vaccination passports for indoor dining, gyms, and performances. Don't worry, New Yorkers. Crazy people will still be allowed to piss on the subways with impunity. Nice. <laughs> 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 on the subway. They love pissing on the subway. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Brooklyn again. It's the bat! 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 I'm gonna pee on the, on the wall! I don't got no vaccination card! I'm from Brooklyn! I'm from a Brooklyn guy! I got, I got a pizza! Will pizza get me a pizza? Do a pizza? Get some pizza pie! We have pizza pie! What? You think I was crazy? Is that Neil James? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's Brooklyn style pizza. It's Brooklyn style pizza. What is this? Is this the rat on the fucking? Yeah, I'm, I'm Templeton the rat. I'm Charlotte's one. But he's got more of like a Paul Lind type that's voice. Right. Well, that is Paul Lind. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, that's. Uh, fair is a bear. Oh, spark is spark. Spark is spark. Spark is spark. Spark is spark. We got Whoopsie's attention. Uh. Oh. <laughs> that's my that's my Brooklyn guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I gotta be back tonight. Yeah. My grandma's already there. Yeah. Help me. Help you with what? So you're you're Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. You help yourself. That's how the Brooklyn yeah. do it. That's She's the Brooklyn so way. Hey, she has no idea what's happening. She hates it. All right, one more joke by me. You really out of? Do we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike Richards is in advanced negotiations to be the permanent host of Jeopardy. What is Lavar Burton getting fucked over? <laughs> yeah, that that sucks. <laughs> that does suck. Cause uh, I don't even know who this Mike Richards dude is. I don't even know who he is. When, when I read host. that, I'm like Kramer. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, is it Kramer? <laughs> but is the first person to get canceled for language? That's right. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah, he, Kramer. Yeah. Oh, he went off. Do you know? Do you know that still? I don't think oh. so. Oh, oh. oh. so a lot of, this is like the first viral footage of a comedian getting in trouble. Okay. And he was at the L.A. Laugh Factory, and he was getting heckled by some people in the audience, and he starts going on this rant and like calling this guy that was heckling him. Yeah, we're not. I don't even know if the guy was heckling him. I think the guy was kind of standing up for himself. Oh, really? And yeah. to, to a point where he's like, hey, man, what you're talking about right now is not cool. Because he was trying to do, like, this whole language thing where, like, like words are just words. And they don't have right. meaning. So I can say things like the N-word. And they word started, like, yeah. screaming. Yeah, so, yeah he's a, mm, and, like, pointing to this guy saying, he is, he is, he yeah. is. And everybody's like, whoa, calm down. Kramer went crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah Kramer I kind of lost that. it. Oh, yeah. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, uh, so oh, it didn't so go yeah. great, oh, yeah. and that was uh, yeah. that was like close to twenty years ago now. That yeah. was probably close two thousand five or two thousand six, yeah. something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe not quite twenty years, but but it's getting close to it. Yeah, coming up on uh, twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait! I can't wait for the greatest hits album to come out. I think they're gonna do a box set. Yeah, I think they're gonna be uh, on the ballot for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Twenty years of nine eleven. As we go through our uh, favorite moments. Yeah. 
Of the event or since then? Since then. Since, yeah. Okay. Do, you, do you remember <laughs> favorite the, the event. uh, <laughs> of you, the morning? <laughs> well, do you remember the, what's it called? Um, uh, a few years ago, a mattress store did a, a, a commercial where they were doing a 9-11 sale. And it was like in <laughs> Texas or something. And they had these giant stacks of mattresses behind the lady. No. no. And, and there was like a guy there too, and he like fell and knocked over the mattresses. And uh, she turns to the camera and goes, We'll never forget. <gasps> oh, that's they wrong. Got, they that's got not, that's fucking amazing. destroyed. What the? Yeah. That's incredible. That, that was. Uh, Who, you know what? How many people did I have to go through to get approved? Like. Well, it was like a small oh, okay. company in a small yeah. town. Let me see if I can find this because it's it's definitely. Mm -hmm. I'll pull up the, the crane. What's right. Cactus Jack? Uh, I mean, it's um, Travis Scott's clothing line. Okay. Right. That was good money, and this pays more. Well, it said, okay, so yes and no. Okay. So th there was. Uh, uh, Do you get bonuses if you hit a target? <laughs> 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 God. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got one. Got one, guys. I got bone dog. Uh, <laughs> where do I put it? Where do I put it? I found, don't I found don't mix my bonus dogs with everybody else's bonus dogs. <laughs> bonus dogs. Um. So th that place. Right. The size matter? Like big, small? No, it's all no. size. All size doesn't matter. <laughs> you answer that for it's us. It's not the size the, matter, yeah. Tommy. Nah, it's the motion of it's the not. Dead. It's not how big. The, <laughs> it's not how big the dead dog is. It's how you use it. Okay, it's yeah, it's yeah, not how big the yeah. dead dog is. It's how sad the owners are That's when right. you pick them up. <laughs> um, oh, I've been so sad. I don't want you to ever die, whoopsie. Yeah, she's um, like. Shut I came up. home, whoopsie. Just I, murder suicide. Me. <laughs> I came you home, me, whoopsie. is the Bill Squire Show.